G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. This is the last video in our uh, Subtraction Fest series in which I've demonstrated a variety of ways to subtract numbers, discussed how we can check manually to make sure that our answer is correct. And in this video, the very last one, I'm going to explain some of the terminology that we use that's uh, been invented over the years for mathematicians to talk precisely about different parts of the calculation. Now if you read a mathematics textbook you may come across these terms and I think it's worth discussing them. The minuend is the number at the top that we subtract, the num sub subtract from. The subtrahend is the number underneath that the number we take away and the difference is the result the gap between the numbers. So where did these come from? Well, surprisingly, they're quite recent. And all three of them came from uh, three, four, five hundred years ago in Europe at a time when all scholars, or almost all scholars, were writing in Latin, discussing in Latin. So these have Latin origins. Uh, today, if we wrote them in English, we'd use different terms or in your whatever your native tongue is. I'm sure you would come up with much nicer sounding names or names that made more sense than these. But we just have to understand that these came about in a time when Latin was the language of academia. Now, the first number that came about, surprisingly, is not one of these. It was this word. And it was simply used to describe what was happening. It was not describing the action so much as it's, it's actually a preposition. And the word minus came from a Latin word meaning to diminish uh, or reduce, basically. And obviously that's what's happening with this number. It's being diminished or reduced. This came about in the late... Uh, 1400s, so I'll, I'll write that here, late 1400s or the late 15th century. Uh, early Renaissance, just before the Reformation and so forth in Europe. So we would say 48 minus 21, and that was how the term was used. That's how it's used today. We do not minus the numbers. That, that word is to come. Uh, that describes the action, the verb. So we never say we minus 21 from 48. That's not... I know a lot of people say that today, but originally 48 minus 21. The word that came next was the word describing the operation. And this number came about around the middle of the 1500s, around the 1550s, somewhere. The best of my research. Now, the word subtract or subtraction, the word subtract is a verb, and we would say subtract 21 from 48. That's the instruction. And the word subtract means to... Uh, the word sub means under, submarine, under the water, uh, subcutaneous, under the skin, and sub, the word sub is used in so many places. A subscript, uh, if, you, if you have um, a word, for example, or let's say a letter, and you put a little one down there, that's a subscript because it's written below the line or below the letter. Uh, so the word sub means underneath, and trapped means to remove or take from. So it's being, being taken away from underneath or taken away from under this. And the word subtract made very good sense when it was invented. Now, these words then came along after that. The first word of these three words, I think, I, I can't find quite when the word difference was applied mathematically. But the word subtrahend was actually used in the 
1665 to 1675 for the first time. And I find that surprising because this is a time when Sir Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz were working on calculus. So he was while they were working on calculus, this word was invented to help mathematicians describe subtraction, a very elementary process. And it comes from the same uh, origins as subtract, sub underneath and the, and the hen bit to, to remove from underneath. So it is, the subject hen is the number that's being removed from underneath. It's being taken away. The next number is this one. Now, this was first used to the best of our knowledge in 1706. And it comes from the same Latin word, or Latin origin as minus. I think, uh, look, I'm not, my Latin's not good, but minu ere, or some name word, word like that. And it means to diminish or reduce. So this is the number that was going to be reduced or diminished. It used to be called the minuendus numerus, the number to be reduced. And this was the subtrahendus numerus, the number to be taken away from underneath, the number to be removed. So that's the number to be reduced, minus, minuend, and the number to be taken away. And the difference <clears throat> comes from a Latin and then a French word that does mean the difference or the gap uh, or how far apart the numbers were. So let's use the word apart here. So I hope that clarifies it for you. If, you, if the term sub helps you remember that it's the, it's the one underneath. And, and if you can remember that the minuendus numerus is the number to that's got to be reduced, the original number, uh, I hope that will help you clarify which is which. Because I know when I first started reading books on it, I got them mixed up a few times. Well, that was a bit of a long journey there, but I hope it's proven useful and profitable for you. And that's the conclusion of this brief series. Please, in the comments underneath the video, if you want more explanation or detail about any of the videos in this series, put a note there and I'll try to create an explanatory video for you, if you wish. But otherwise, I'm going to leave it at that, and I thank you very, very much for watching. Mm -hmm.